When it came to playing Path of Exile, I was late to the party. I did not start playing Path of Exile until the Crucible League. So I've stayed away from creating a lot of PoE content just because there are too many amazing content creators already in the space. But Path of Exile just did a reveal of the Settlers of Kalgor League coming less than a week away. And there's so much in this video. And my jaw was dropping literally every two minutes. And plus, I was getting inundated from uh, my community and getting requests about me, them wanting to hear my take on the reveal. So I'm going to do this video. If you're looking for full in-depth coverage, you still haven't seen the reveal and you want to watch something that'll educate educate you and catch you up on what the reveal was go go watch one of the um, there's a million of them there's so many good content creators in the poe space go check out one of them they'll do a better job of giving you every minute detail however if you want to get my take stay tuned i'm going to give it to you however i do also want to say i was late to the party with path of exile i will not be late to the party with poe 2 i plan on playing the crap out of that game so if you're interested in learning kind of what I'm about and how I do things, and you are going to be interested in PoE 2 in the future, well, stick around because as PoE 2 gets closer and closer to releasing, you're going to see a lot more content from this guy when it comes to PoE 2. So we'd love for you to stick around and watch the rest of the video. Now, before we get into the details of this video, I want to say a lot of you continue to watch my content, but do not subscribe to my channel. So if you can find it in your heart to hit that subscription button and support my content, it'll mean the world to me. Okay, let's get to the oh my God reveal from GGG. Wow. <laughs> There's so much here. Like, unbelievable. Anyway, Settlers of Calgore. Hopefully I pronounced that right. I do a really good job of butchering pronunciation. But the Settlers of Kalgor, as you can see, here is the official timer from the Path of Exile website. And as you can see, it's six days away. And wow, there's so much in this. And I have to say, a lot of the content, the new stuff that's coming to the new PoE League really, really resonates with some of the things that I like to have in a video game. So with the Path of Exile, Settlers of Kalgor, help Kalgorin prisoners to build the town of King's Mart and establish trade. That's right, establish trade between Rayclast and their homeland. Our July expansion introduces the Settlers of Kalgor Challenge League, a new trade market system for currency, balance improvements, and including two ascendancy class changes, in-game improvements, some further additions to the campaign, and some quality of life features. Settlers of Calgore Challenge League. In this league, you will encounter some familiar faces from the Expedition League, Danning, Rogue, Taijin, and Gwenin, sorry if I mispronounced them, are seeking out resources in Rayclast that can be used to begin town construction and establish a shipping trade route to Calgore. They have recruited many characters from Rayclast, including some you may recognize, but are also seeking the help of powerful exiles like yourself. Harness the resource of Rayclast. On your adventures, you might find minerals such as crimson iron, which are veins of iron that have been overrun with corruption, spawning dangerous foes when you approach, or perhaps orcalcum, which you will have to liberate from the demons worshipping it. Petrified amber attracts mindless, blighted enemies, while bismuth has a strong affinity to the elements and causes the area to become unstable. If you're lucky, you might find verizium. A material as valuable as it is dangerous and guarded by very powerful foes. Each of these resources become available once you defeat the enemies guarding it. You'll then be able to tag the deposit for mining. Now, who's going to be doing the hard labor? And this is where it gets fun, boys. Manage King's March. Theopolis wasn't built in a day and neither will King's March, but many hands make light work. Head to the town, hired skill workers who will aid you in mining. That is correct. You heard me right. You can hire 
people. And they use the word delegation. I love it. Uh, for mining, smelting, dischanting, farming, and other jobs needed in King's March, you'll notice each person has their specialties and a wage cost. It will be up to you to hire and fire as you please. Over the course of the league, you'll be searching for your perfect employees for each job. You'll have to keep them paid, safe, and alive. Establish trade routes. There's going to be ships coming back and forth. And it says right here, eventually you can build a harbor, establish a shipping route between a number of different Calgaryan and Karai ports of trade. Pal, your acquired resources onto these ships and send them to a port of your choosing where your traders will haggle for the best deals. Each port will return specific rewards based on what you send them. When your shipments has returned, you'll get notified and you can return to the town to collect your rewards at your leisure. You can also delegate map running. Unfriggin believable. Aside from shipping, the Calgurians are big on their technology. They have hired Isla, an engineer from the Heist League. Once at Endgame, Isla can help you build a series of Calgurian modified map devices which you can put a queue of maps into. If you've hired a few skilled combatants, they will put themselves to work running those maps for you one after another. Unbelievable. And you can literally, in these um, map devices, you can literally dump like five, 10 map in them so they can continuously run all the maps that you've put into these devices. Just remarkable. They have, uh, sorry, benefit from Calgurian crafting techniques operated by Danning himself, a runesmith table is using powerful Calgurian blacksmithing art to engrave runic magic onto your weapons. There are many ruin types and you can even combine them, guys. You can take two items, combine them, and of course it's RNG related, but it will combine everything and take pieces from each of the two types and combine it into one. And hopefully it's something that you want and something that you need. And like they say here, the recombination system, they're bringing it back. Isla is trying to master this. She just needs you to help her with getting resources. While recombination is not entirely the same as it used to be, in the Sentinel League, it still allows you to combine two items together, hoping to get the best modifiers of each onto a single item. And then discover a currency trade market. This is another banger, guys. When I saw this, this was like a jaw-dropping moment. In this expansion, we're introducing a currency trade market. The Calgurians have recruited Fastus, another NPC from the Heist League, who is proficient at black market trade and shady deals. He allows you to asynchronously buy and sell currency and most other stackable items with other players. All you need to do is select what currency you want, what you have, and your ideal ratio. Faustus will make the trade happen for you so as long as there's someone selling on the other end for the same rate or less. Incredible. So they're bringing the trading into the game they're saying they're trying it out for this league and they want to see how it goes and if the economy is going to be a good economy. So, wow. Then defend what you build. That's correct. We can get invaded and we have to defend our territory, our materials, our shipments, our ships. As, you, as your town grows, it will attract more attention, good and bad. Settlers of Calgore features three endgame bosses that will close in on your operations, wanting a piece of the pie, greedy bastards. They might capture and ransom your workers, even your entire ship, son of a gun. You'll have to make some tough decisions. Will you take them on or pay them off? You guys, <laughs> you guys better farm a lot of gold, which by the way, there is now, we are gonna be able to earn in-game gold. So make sure you're earning a lot of it because if you're like me, you're going to want to pay these guys off. Okay, pledge your allegiance to glory. The Gladiator Ascendancy class has received a long way to rework. I'm not going to get into this, but the Gladiator, as it states here, is getting a whole, whole rework. And I know a lot of melee class lovers are salivating right now. 
There's a new ascendancy to the Warden. Again, not going to get into it. And tons, tons of massive balance overhaul. Massive balancing. And then in endgame content improvements, this was another jaw-dropping moment during the GGG reveal. There are a myriad of changes coming to endgame settlers of Kalgor. We're changing many scarabs, adding a sixth map device slot, introducing exciting new encounters in tier 16 and tier 17 maps, updating blight and ritual and endgame and more. We've also added a set of new chisel types and massively increased the drop rate of Valdos puzzle boxes. Now, in regards to uh, tier 17 maps, they also stated they are reducing the health and the damage that they give from the enemies. So in other words, they made the tier 17 maps a little bit more easier to handle. As we all know, for those of us that played the previous league with the introduction of the tier 17 maps, a lot of people were complaining how difficult it was to beat them. So they have listened, they've heard it, and they've addressed it in this new league coming in six days. And then they made, to continue with the couch co-op and all the changes and customizations they made for the console players, they did some more console native uh, ports, and they've been hard at work improving the PoE experience on consoles. Not going to get into it, but I'm sure the console players are happy. <sighs> that was a mouthful. I have to say... <laughs> I'm like I, I'm I'm speechless and I'm rarely speechless. This was one of the best reveals that I've seen in a very long time. Like I said in my opening monologue, if someone was new, never seen Path of Exile before, and you watched this reveal, you would have thought this was a reveal for a new game coming for the amount of content that Grinding Gear Games discussed in their reveal. Just remarkable the amount of content that they're putting into path of exile and for those of you and i remember this when grinding gear games announced poe2 one of the very first reaction was what's going to happen to poe they're going to forget about it they're not going to update it they're just going to let it die and oh my god if this isn't proof that ggg is going to maintain both games. And that's what they said when they started hearing all this ruckus around them that, what are you doing with PoE? Now that you got PoE 2 coming, are you going to abandon it? Boy, did they shout back hell no with this reveal because the amount of content and creativity and the just how they're advancing Path of Exile is remarkable. And they need to be applauded. What a job, GGG. Like I said this in my live stream when we were watching this reveal. GGG continue to lead the pack when it comes to the ARPG space. They continue to evolve. They continue to advance their game. They don't rest on the laurels and success of what they have. They continue continue to build and elevate their game it's just remarkable it's refreshing it's so good don't get me wrong guys any developer with these live services you're not always going to hit on every season league cycle it just you can't nobody's perfect but you gotta give credit where credit is due ggg is unbelievable they continue to lead they're not followers when it comes to development. They continue to lead and they write the narrative. It's remarkable. So for those of you that came to me and said, please, please give us your feedback and review on the POE new league that's coming in just over six days. My response to you is, wow. And yes, I will be playing this new POE league. These new mechanics, the building of the town, building shipping routes, hiring, firing people to do and, dele and delegate tasks to, running maps, collecting ore. 
I can go on and on and on. These are all things that I love doing in games. That's why I love survival games, action games, building stuff, hiring people. Get, like, it just resonates with me. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, I couldn't have actually written, uh, please, GGG, can you put this in the game? Like, I couldn't have written it better myself. So, hell yes, S tier reveal, S tier content, and I cannot wait to get my hands on the new POE, POE League coming in just over six days. Well, there you have it, folks. That's my reveal. Come watch me play Path of Exile in six days. And prior to that, come over to my stream. I stream every evening on Twitch. Channel name is Sammy Caps. I stream. My stream starts typically around 7, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come over and say hello. We'd love to have you. We have a cool, chill community. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll see you in Raycast in just over six days. Thanks for watching, everybody. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.